Hello everyone, this is the Cardio Zone. My name is Zainab and I'm a cardio respiratory physical therapist. You may have come across either of your grandparent who would clap you on the back whenever you have a cough. This same traditional approach is used in a technique called chest clapping or chest percussions that can help you loosen out the phlegm or cough in your lungs. For patients diagnosed with the COVID-19 virus, their lungs may get filled up with mucus or phlegm and these can block the smaller airways in the lung. For them, using this technique of chest percussions along with certain positions called postural drainage, which will be shown to you in the next videos, can help loosen out the cuff, especially in the smaller airways. Usually, I use this technique to treat patients who are not responsive. For example, those who are coming out of a coma state, for children or for elderly patients at bed rest. So how do chest percussions work, especially in a non-responsive patient? So basically, we have mechanical receptors in the airways of our lung called rapidly adapting receptors or RARs. These are more sensitive whenever you have a respiratory illness and they recognize the mechanical vibrations by chest percussions as a mechanical stimuli and facilitate cuff reflex in patients. This can help patients to have an effective cuff reflex to remove the phlegm in the lungs. So Darwin and Ahmed will demonstrate this technique for us. We will start first with the sitting position. Over bare skin, percussion is usually painful. So attempt to do it over thin clothing, over these areas in the front and back. Force should be equal on both hands and the hand should be in a cup-like position and it should remain that way. Percussion should not make a slapping sound but a hollow sound like this. Attempt to do this in rhythm approximately 100 to 400 times a minute for 40 seconds. You can also do this in sideline position. Place your arms overhead or in front and you can perform the percussion like this. You can also perform while lying down on your stomach like this. Chest percussions should not be performed over the breast tissue or any bony prominence of the patient. You can also perform percussion by yourself using one hand in a cup position like this over few areas. But of course, it's not possible over all areas of your lung. The head down position or lying on your abdomen is not advised for patients with acid reflux or elderly patients as there is a risk of aspiration. For this reason, chest percussion should be performed either two hours before a meal or two hours after a meal. On your left, there are further contraindications of chest percussions. Chest clapping can be performed three to five times a day, preferably after steam inhalation or if using a nebulizer. Thank you for watching. Stay home and stay safe.